Alright, I'm Aaron, I'm the city of Riverview, and I'm with Becky Lawyer, and she's the owner of Handcrafted, located at 18511 Fort Street, here in Riverview, Michigan. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and tell me, Becky, uh, why'd you get into this business? Well, my husband and I started doing the string art parties. Um, they were really popular. We really like supporting other small local businesses and we wanted to find a way to bring it all together. So we decided that we would open a brick and mortar and feature items from other small businesses and also do our craft classes at night. Alright, so you're supporting local business and you have little craft. Yes. And you opened it with your husband whose name is Craft. Yes. Alright, and uh, what exactly do you think you like about your handcrafted store? I love the customers. The customers are awesome. Um, everybody that comes in here is really supportive. They're really excited about supporting small businesses, and that gets me excited. And how about your local art crafts? Yeah, the local art, exactly. That's what I mean. People coming in to, to um, support other small makers and um, artisans. Um, people get really excited about it. They want to buy local, they want to buy Michigan products, and especially downriver made products. So. People get excited about it and that excites me. Are you a Down River girl? Or yes, born and raised. I um, was raised in Riverview. I moved to Trenton when I was 16. Um, and now my husband and I live in Trenton. And what's your age now? I am 27. Right. <laughs> and um, let's see, did you think it was a good opportunity coming to Riverview or were you looking at other cities? Absolutely, it was a great opportunity. Um, we had actually looked at Wyandot. Um, everybody. A lot of people that come in here ask why we didn't go to Wyandotte, but we love Riverview. Um, Fort Street being right there is great. We get a lot of traffic. Um, we wanted to bring something kind of fun this way since, you know, all the other fun stuff is located right there in Wyandotte. Um, also, like I said, since I'm from Riverview, I really was excited about moving back to the to Riverview proper to open up and my brother's Riverview police officer. Yes, he is. He's a nice guy too. And, uh, you find any obstacles trying to open this business? There were a few obstacles. Um, it's quite an undertaking financially to start any sort of brick and mortar business and we also had to, to um, some time challenges. We were both working full time when we opened the store so we were trying to work around other 40 hour a week jobs to do all the renovation in here, put the floors in, paint, get all the fixtures up, get all the ordering done. So it was more, it was a time thing but um, well, Nothing we couldn't overcome. You also have kids. Yeah, yes, yeah, so we've got a, a one and a half year old and a two and a half year old, both so, boys. It was a big juggling act. Yes, they keep us busy. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Uh, so do you have any doubts when, like, man, maybe we shouldn't open this business? Oh, absolutely. Just about every day. It's, just, every it's day. a roller coaster. It's but, a roller coaster. But it's been worth it, and we've had great response from the community so far, and we're looking forward to many more years here. Yeah, I like your store. You've got a lot of little handcrafted selected items. Thank you. And uh, you said you're offering classes. Yes, we do the, the string art, we do sign painting, we've done wreath making, we'll be adding other classes after the first of the year also. Do you know what classes you're thinking about adding? Um, we're definitely going to do like a hand lettering class, um, calligraphy and arm knitting, and then um, possibly some other classes depending on you know what kind of instructors you go by. Like an Afghan yeah, possibly. Some jewelry making classes, I'm sure. So, something uh, for everybody. Do you have any other family members in the, the business industry? They own their own business? Or mm. Do you have to seek advice? Oh, we definitely sought advice. I have worked for a couple of small business owners, and um, Craig's family actually owns a construction company in Brownstown. So, we both had a little bit of a little bit of background in working for small family businesses. And uh, you said you're a practicing lawyer on camera. Yes. Practicing law. Yes, I am a small business attorney and um, specializing in construction, actually. And you mentioned you chose a review probably for the location based on 4th Street. Yes, they've also been great to work with. Um, the building department was really helpful you know, in the permitting process, and Mayor Swift was great. He came to our ribbon cutting, and he was um, very encouraging, and, and um, the people are great here, too. I'm glad to hear that. And what exactly was your launch day for your business? Um, it was about the beginning of October. Beginning of October. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a website open for people to visit? Yes, we do. It is. Dot com. And 
Can they find you on Facebook as well? Yes, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash mihandcrafted. So you've been here a couple months. Do you think you're going to stay in a review or do you have plans to expand to another second business? We don't have any plans to uh, move outside of review right now. We um, may be licensing out the string art portion of our business and expanding into other counties and states um, and stuff like that. But uh, right now, our brick and mortar, we plan to keep in review. And how do you get some of these other vendors into your business? Just contact them or do they approach you? Um, or can they approach you? They can absolutely approach us. Uh, it's about, I would say 80% of what we sell in here, we sell um, retail, we buy wholesale and sell retail. And then probably the other 20% we sell consignment. So people can come in, we take a look to make sure their branding fits with our, um, you know, with our business model and our aesthetic here. And then if it works out, then um, we would allow them to sell in our store. Uh, so is everything Michigan made? Everything is Michigan made, touched in Michigan in some way. Um, we've got candles from Wyandotte, we've got our artists from Lincoln Park, um, we've got pillows from Jackson, food products from the west side of the state, so everything is from Michigan in some way. Everything is from Michigan. Yep. Does it taste Michigan-y? <laughs> yes, and delicious. I have not tasted anything, so I can't, I can't comment on that. <laughs> Uh, would you recommend any of the business to come to Riverview? Do you think we're missing anything? Um, I would definitely recommend other businesses to come to Riverview. Um, as a construction manager previously, um, you know, permitting processes in other cities are not as easy and the, the city administrations are not always so easy to work with. So I would definitely recommend that they come here. I'd really like to see some more businesses fill up the empty spaces on, in the other strip malls on 4th Street. So. Yes, we have quite a bit on the southbound side. Yep. You think we're missing anything? I, I don't think we're really missing anything, um, but I hope we can attract some more people and, and um, we actually are interested in maybe working with some of the local chambers of commerce and business associations to work on maybe a Riverview specific grant if we can get the local businesses to pitch in um, a little bit of money to to encourage people to move their businesses to Riverview, it could be helpful. Um, I don't, I see quite a bit of variety here. Do you think, are you missing anything? Handcraft, do you feel like um, scented candles? We've got, we've got plenty of candles and gift <clears throat> items. Um, I'd like to expand a little bit more into some children's items. So maybe um, onesies and stuff like that. And um, kids toys, we've got a few, but not a lot. So um, probably kid stuff. Kid stuff, would you go think about opening a kid's class as well? Yes, actually we have thought about that and we would like to do that at some point in the future. And what do you think draws clients to your business? Um, I think that they're just as excited as we are about supporting other small local businesses. Yes, and let's see, if someone called and said, uh, what do you think I should come in and buy, what would you recommend as an item? Um, there are so many things to or recommend Or just say, here. come on in and check us out. I would say, come on in and check us out. Um, I, I try not to let anybody leave without one of the candles. The candles are amazing, and the, like I said, those are really local. Those are made in Wyandotte. Um, the soaps that we've got are made in Plymouth, and, and those are also a big hit, and then any of our food products are awesome, too. And do you think Riverview could do anything to help your business along, or make any changes? Um, I don't think there's necessarily any changes to be made. Like I said, I would just like to see maybe some sort of a program to encourage other businesses to come here. The more businesses that we've got here, you know, the better it is for, for everybody. And what's your business's phone number? It is 734-288-0563. And again, they're located at 185-114th Street here in Riverview, Michigan. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>